loving greetings to all the sweet name of lord and savior jesus christ i thank our lord jesus for giving this opportunity to meditate the word of god with you on this day i thank everyone who have been watching our daily meditation program regularly i thank you for your likes for your comments and also for sharing it with the others i thank you for all those who have subscribed our channel and even now i request you to continue to watch our daily meditation program and i request you to like comment and also share it with your friends and relatives those who are not subscribed our channel i request you to subscribe our channel also the portion of the scripture chosen for today's reading is from acts 9 chapter verse 15 and 16 but the lord said to him go for he is a chosen vessel of mine to bear my name before gentiles kings and the children of israel for i will show him how many things he must suffer for my name's sake see what we see here is that it is a revelation about paul what god is giving to ananias it is paul who is praying and he wants to know what god is going to do in his life and now that revelation is given to ananias and we see that ananias takes that revelation to paul many times when we also pray to know god's will or many times when we are praying for god to guide us in the path of ministry what happens is the god starts speaking to us and how does he speak it through he speaks through various ways through his word is the primary thing that he talks to us but other ways are there also and he speaks through prophecy or through revelation from other servants of god also so here we see that ananias is receiving this revelation and he would have given it to paul the same manner in our lives also when we are praying god speaks to us through somebody else or god may speak to us in our heart also god might give a vision or he might give a uh, promise to us but whatever it might be we are asking the detail of our life saying lord what is my future or what is my ministry what do you want me to do we are asking things in detail but god does not give everything in detail saying each day these things will happen you will meet such and such people you will preach the gospel to them or you will pray for them he doesn't give them things in detail but what he does is that he gives a promise he gives a revelation this is what is going to happen so what is the revelation given by god to ananias is that it says that go for he is a chosen vessel of mine to bear my name before gentiles kings and children of israel for i will show him how many things he must suffer for my name's sake so what is that revelation it says first thing is that he is a chosen vessel of mine paul was chosen by god and then what it was that he has to bear the is the name of jesus before gentiles before kings and also before the children of israel that was his calling he had to go and preach the name of jesus to all kind of people but god did not tell him anything about his travel or god did not tell him that he is going to go to this place or he is going to this city and he is going to preach there or no god did not tell anything but god said you are going to preach you are going to preach to gentiles you are going to preach to kings you are going to preach to the children of israel you are going to bear my name you are going to bear my tell a testimony about me and these are the things god is telling and the second thing what god reveals is that for i will show him how many things he must suffer for my name's sake other thing that is that paul is going to suffer for the name of jesus if you look into the life of paul he suffered many things for the christ's sake so in the same manner in our lives also our whole life god condenses it and gives it in the package of a promise he gives it as a promise saying i am going to use you i am going to bless you i am going to lead you i am going to guide you some way god communicates to you just think about what are the prophecies you have received but why does god speak in such a way is that god knows that is enough for us because we are called to live a life of faith faith looking to the word of god trusting god that god will fulfill his promise god will fulfill his word god will fulfill his vision or god will fulfill his promise or his prophecy whatever you have received in whatever form you have received there is a fulfillment so you need to walk by faith each day as you get up you just walk by faith saying god is leading me towards the promise that he has made for me he will fulfill his calling upon my life each day follow him carefully in the path that is leading you walk by faith trust his promises then you would know that god would have fulfilled many of his uh, promises that he had given to you in your life so always be thankful to god what revelation you have received about yourself or about your ministry about your future whatever god has spoken to you whether it is through you personally or through somebody else just hold on to that and know that god is leading you and follow god carefully and finally you will see the fulfillment of the promise of god in your life god bless you let's close our eyes and pray loving lord i thank you and i praise you master even today father i commit everyone who has heard the word of god lord master lord thank you for your word Lord, your revelation about us. 
your prophecy about us lord personally or through somebody else lord jesus is something lord gives us faith to move forward and lord jesus our master you had a plan about paul and you revealed it to ananias in the same manner you have a plan about us you have revealed it to us lord jesus help us to cling on to that promises help us to go forward lord trusting you lord jesus that you will fulfill your word in our lives lord jesus. bless everyone who's heard the word of god meet all their needs on this day give them the divine protection continue to take care of them and make them a blessing to many people lord thank you because you're doing it in jesus name i pray amen